What is up, everybody? It is Ojama Drama Garretts. We're here with another drama hot, jo dramatic hot take, hot base take, base, based Garretts, based Ojama, super saiyan, based is frig um, Ojama Garretts. Uh, we're here to talk about hot button topics, and the topic is going to be today, minimum motherfucking wage. And what I want to talk about with minimum wage is that it needs to go away. I think minimum wage is pretty stupid. Um, it sounds nice. It sounds like it's great. I, I spent a lot of my youth thinking it's the best thing to happen since uh, Jesus is uh, sacrificed on the cross. But now I have come to, after many years and um, thinking about it, after I read a book, it was either Basic Economics or Economics, Facts, and Fallacies by my buddy Thomas Sowell, my best friend, author, economic, ec ec economist Thomas Sowell. He blew my mind by pretty much like when I read the words that all it does, he, all he said, he made the assertion that all it does is prevent low skilled and unskilled laborers from being able to bargain for a job. And then my eyes like fish scales just came down from my eyeballs and I saw the base truth, the base truth for sure. The, the most truth, the most uh, base super truth ever. And it made it all made sense. He didn't even need to break it down. I mean, like I don't remember the arguments and stuff like that from the book because I'm just ranting. And that was a couple of years ago I read that book, but I just think it's bad. Like, so 741. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, you could say that like without minimum wage that the corporate people are just going to send all the kids to the coal mine. But also we live in the most like digital age ever, where like media is, can spread faster than wildfire. Can uh, spread faster than radiation in Chernobyl. Um, can spread faster than the uh, nuclear waste Fukushima dumped into the ocean. Um, I don't know if actually that one's correct. That was just I was just trying to go with a joke. But anyway, so the main point I think it stands on its own. But like I'll kind of go into it a little bit. It's just like without minimum wage, you're forcing businesses to pay for to pay like to pay people for labor that's not worth seven dollars or whatever it is and you can say like yeah you can't live on seven dollars an hour but you shouldn't be as a productive member like the game of america you shouldn't be aiming for seven dollars an hour i know there's some people that that's as much as they can um earn through their productivity because they have no skills or they're handicapped or uh, whatever other reasons but that's the whole point of our welfare system is to support those people who can't produce by themselves because most people at least that i've met should be able to make um should be productive enough to live well enough and if you can't live uh in this country you're living my guess like the, off the top of my head is that you're living in a city and cities fucking suck and you should leave the city uh so other than that i mean like i can't really i don't know what to tell you i mean like there's ways to live i mean it, like before minimum wage laws existed do you think like that nobody like worked or, or nobody was able to afford to eat or anything like that like the humanity wouldn't have got humanity didn't get to where it is today because of the minimum wage laws and it's just one of those rules that just makes you feel good but it doesn't actually do anything like bro so like another thing i wanted to talk about it real quickly is that um entry level jobs jobs that like business owners can use can like you, you can pay a kid three dollars an hour to go sweep the movie theater or whatever or pay him five bucks or whatever but technically that's illegal with minimum wage laws but that those types of jobs and just establishing that on as on a resume and making like a true like any true statement of any work that you do whether it's five dollars an hour da, 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 um is going to build experience and that experience added to your resume is going to give you confidence because you did little things and then those little things allowed you to now build your confidence or build your resume up so then you can get better jobs in the future by by training by skill building and stuff like that but minimum wage forces business owners like especially if it goes like 15 dollars an hour you're going to pretty much make every dumb poor person i'm not saying every poor person is dumb but dumb and poor person unproductive workers unable to find any work to do because there's going to be no like businesses that want to hire them and uh, unless they're like i don't know um it's just going to limit severely. Like you're, you're only going to allow huge corporations like Amazon and Walmart to be able to. They, they want. Honestly, I feel like they want that shit to happen because then their business, um, their business competition, which is i.e. small businesses, businesses on the come up, trying to take them off the map, is just going to make it more difficult for them. There's a reason why they preemptively raise their uh, bottom up before the, the the country or the government 
catches up is because they they want it. They want to show support to it, and I feel it's because they want to stomp out any competition. Mom and pop shops that can't afford to pay people fifteen dollars an hour to do the same thing that a, a Walmart employee is doing, they can't afford to pay that. But I mean, it's not monetary value. Like I, I it's going to kick the horse or beat the dead horse. Monetary value is not the only thing that's being exchanged when you're getting a job somewhere. You're learning a business, like. I can say that confidently now that I've worked at enough factories and I understand like the, the logistics of it and like shipping and receiving and maintaining relationships with customers and the, the, the reason for a corporate branch and the reasons for all these things. I've, I've been in the business long enough to understand like if I, I know this is oh, a big, a, a big thing to say, but I feel like if I really put my mind into it, I could probably start my own like a uh, small scale manufacturing business. And then why don't you? Cause I don't care. I don't want to. That's, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm pretty sure because of the amount of education I've gotten, I could if I wanted to. I know I have a lot of experience, and when I when I if I go back into the um, labor market, I will have a better interview. I, I'm gonna walk in there, and I'm gonna be like, if I go to any factory besides my mouth and my YouTube channel, just like erase this. I can walk into any factory, and any factory in this town or in the surrounding area is gonna go, holy shit, wow. Um, almost a decade of factory experience and you've done like everything in the book you've like you can drive forklift you've operated heavy cranes you've you've been a machine operator for da -da -da -da, all these different like crazy things plus you are also a solid lead and da -da -da. you have the supervisor experience from uh, walmart and all this other shit like i can get a job like but that experience all those jobs probably weren't paying me as much as i was worth but now i have like monetarily, but I also now just have these skills. And I feel like minimum wage is one of those things that just gets in the way for most people that like do that. And it just limits the options and it just limits the economy is what I'm saying. Like, again, I'm sure there's a bunch of like debate me bros out there like seething when I say things like this and they're just getting ready to fucking fire off. They're just slamming their keyboards, slamming their, getting ready in their phones, making their little, you know, jerking each other off in their little friend groups but it is what it is i've said what i said and this is what i believe in and if you don't like that you can kind of go fuck yourself because i don't care i'm saying what i said i'm saying what i think actually helps people and the people who usually seem to like argue against the things that i say at least in my like circles are just memeing trolling being sarcastic douchebags and it's not actually productive like um if you think that so then this is a call out to those types of people if you think that your way is better show 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 it and um the government like has only been doing kind of a like in you know ask pretty much anyone the government's kind of fucking everything up and you want to involve the government in every single situation like it's so stupid it's such a uh, the government is there out of a necessity but they are not the most optimal solution for most things like uh that's get way too off subject this is about minimum wage but th that's pretty much my argumentation why minimum wage needs to go like it uh small business you're you're stifling the economy uh it, it, so one more thing about that with the small businesses and the uh minimum wage is that like you may start at less than seven dollars an hour but that doesn't mean that's where you're going to end like when i started at walmart a long time ago i was making eight dollars an hour with the third shift differential but then i ended my career at walmart making 16 15 50 some, something like that and i was working four on three off so i had great hours too but like my 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 because I busted my ass and like took opportunities when they were presented to me because I was busting my ass, I almost doubled my income in a span of like two to three years. So, I mean, like every factory I've gone to, that same method is applied. You like, just because you're going to be put, I got about a minute before this is too long, just before you're going to, you're going to start at $7 an hour does not mean that's where you're going to end. Like if you become valuable enough for the employer starting at $7 an hour, but you're doing double the output, you can talk to them. And if, like they're not willing to play ball with you that's not a business you should be working for anyway and if that's the type of business that's going to not like throw you a bone for you you know perform or uh give you that incentive structure for you to keep coming back and keep trying harder and harder and harder they're probably not going to be a, a business for very long you know what i mean like i i hope i am right here i hope i'm wrong actually but i believe ultimately like the, the like the argue the arguments i could hear is like businesses are shitty and businesses are gonna fuck you over and yes 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 i agree with that but what i'm saying is and i hope i'm wrong but i hope i'm right i hope i'm right because i kind of want to see everything burned because i want to be right about everything but I, I hope i'm wrong because businesses operating this way and just fucking over their labor constantly is going to cause major catastrophe in the country so with that being said very dramatic very controversial this is for people, if this feels like 
this is for you, it is. Okay, so then that being said, peace out, Girl Scout. Catch you later. Dramatic, man. Ojama drama. Out of here.